Hello, God bless. I wanted to talk to you about uh, the coming blood moon, which is going to be on March 25th, 2024. Okay, that uh, today is March 20th, 2024. So in five days, March 20th, 25th, March 25th, 2024, there will be a blood moon. Okay, and this is just a few weeks before the full solar eclipse, total solar eclipse of America, which is on April 8th, 2024. And why is this significant? Okay, there, there's a few things here. Um, the devil's comment is going to begin to be visible to the naked eye on that night, on that day. So March 25th, that we'll begin to see that comment, which you will still be able to see it during the total solar eclipse of America on April 8th. So, but, but it'll begin to be visible right then on the blood moon. Okay. <clears throat> the blood moon also falls or March 25th also falls on the Jewish holiday called Purim, which celebrates the deliverance of the Jewish people from the wicked Haman in the days of Queen Esther of Persia. This is in the book of Esther, which is uh, in the Old Testament. So if you go read that book, You'll, you'll hear about it. And this was during the Persian captivity where all the Jews were in exile in, in Persia and they were in captivity. So March 25th, there's a full blood moon which happens to land on Purim, which is going to have the devil's, devil's comet going, will, will be visible to the naked eye. And I just want to remind you of a dream that I had uh, that I, I made a video on previously. And it was... It was a real short dream. I'll just go over the dream again real quick. Uh, the dream started out with me standing in front of a large round table, maybe 12, 12 feet. I, I'm not sure. It was a round table. I, I, looking at the table, I could tell it was heavy duty, like really strong oak wood, very thick. It was beautiful and it had like a... I don't know, lacquer or whatever on it to make to where it was like shiny and beautiful. Nothing was on the table except in the center of the table were three rocks, large like dinner plate sized rocks. They were kind of grayish in color, stacked on top of each other. And they were they would be like the size of skipping stones for a giant because they were the size of a dinner plate. Um, you know, they were kind of smooth. And they were stacked on top of each other, you know, one after another on top of each other, right in the middle of the table. And I'm staring at these, these rocks, these three rocks. And on this beautiful, heavy-duty oak table that I could tell was very sturdy and strong. And all of a sudden, I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit right behind my right ear. And, and I, I could just feel him, feel his fire and then he leaned into my ear, my right ear, and he whispered in my ear, just like in the days of Esther, or just like, I'm sorry, just like in the book of Esther, I will save this nation by a few. Okay, and uh, that's, and then the dream ended. So that's, that was the whole dream. And so if we, if you go and read the book of Esther, I think you will be greatly encouraged as to what God will do for his people, how he will save his people when, when, when they don't see a way. There's always a way in and through Christ Jesus, okay? So I hope this encouraged you. Again, we have uh, the solar eclipse coming up on April 8th. And could something happen on that day? Yes, but, um, but not necessarily, right? When Jonah went into... Nineveh, um, he just told them to that they were going to be destroyed in 40 days. So nothing happened on that day for them except that they all repented. Because of their repentance, the destruction that was supposed to come in 40 days was delayed quite a while, so they weren't destroyed in 40 days. It, it, Nineveh did eventually be, get destroyed, but it was much later on. So their repentance and their prayers their true repentance and their prayers delayed the destruction, right? Uh, we're told um, 
by Jesus that for tribulation, that we could pray that it's not in winter or on the Sabbath. We could pray to have it moved like further out. It still has to happen, but it can be, it can be moved. So prayer can help you change the timing of an event that's coming that's of God, but uh, doesn't necessarily stop the event. If it's God, if it's ordained by God, it's going to happen. But our prayers can move that kind of time frame. Okay, uh, I hope this encouraged you and helped you. God bless. Bye.